have you been paying attention? And now, the man with the cards, Tom Weisner. Good evening, everybody. Great to have you all company for our weekly look back at events for the past seven days. There's been a lot of stuff making it in the news, but I'm confident tonight's team will be across all the details. Oh, Donald Trump was furious after being raided by the FBI. Revealing they even broke into my... Even broke into my what? <laughs> Marty. Air fryer. Yeah, that's, that's a step too far. No, what did they break into? Ursula. Crate of foreign wives? Is, is it? <laughs> and they were in the very special room. Oh. Sam. No, it was his safe. Yes. It was easy, the password was stormy, but still they got it. <laughs> oh, big statement from North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. <laughs> We finally declare a victory over Sam. His uncles. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's won that one. Fine. Lizzie, a victory over. I think judging by that video, the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting back on those. <laughs> Ursula. No, type 2 diabetes. Yeah, I think that. <laughs> You're actually getting closer. Ed. Uh, the Supreme Leader has declared victory over COVID. Oh, wait, that's COVID. To Kenya. What are those people queuing for? Marty. Ed Sheeran. Is. <laughs> He is big. Sadly not. What are they queuing for, Sam? Um, a new H&M store opening up. Is <laughs> not retail. It's, uh, it's well, I'm going to give the answer away. It's political. Ashley. As a to vote, Tom. In the presidential Look election. Look at me. Thank you. <laughs> you know your African politics. Yeah. This was a big day in Colombia. <laughs> What's the occasion? Marty. He sold his millionth kilo. Is... <laughs> not true. <laughs> Apologise to any Colombian. <laughs> it's a major, a major event. It was happening in Parliament. Lizzie. Is it a new president? Yes. Gustavo what Petro being sworn into office. Mm -hmm. Dictator wants a wife. And there it is. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, dear. Here we go again. Scientists are tracking a new animal-derived virus in eastern China. Yeah. What's it called? Ed. Uh, Langler? Yeah, it's from, shrew, it's from shrew meat. Shrew. shrew. From eating shrews. Shrew little animals. It's... They're little, and they're like 50% oh. tastier than bat. What and... are you going to do? <laughs> and I'll pay that. Longia is its name. Social media platform Snapchat is launching new... Launching new what? Ah, yeah, it. uh, it's an early Prince Andrew warning system. Is it? <laughs> Is it a filter that will remove the hair from your nipples if you're a middle-aged lady? It's um, <laughs> very useful. It's, uh, it's, it is some sort of filter, Sam. <laughs> you, you're that, picturing that. that. Stop looking I at it. I am not picturing it. Stop it. <laughs> I am not picturing it. But does that, does that happen? Does that happen? <laughs> yeah. Like, you, like, we don't share a dressing room here. Like, you didn't mention it before. They've got parental... Uh, Protection or parental controls, thank you, Sam. Yeah, parental what? Controls. Yeah. I'm still hairy nipples. I can't <laughs> get <this. laughs> We do need to move on. Oh, well, McDonald's has been sued for stopping its workers doing what? Marty. Year nine. <laughs> Is... <laughs> It's a career path. It's a career path. What? This is an allegation. Uh, they're accused of not letting the staff take bathroom breaks. Mm, apparently, that you had to work this whole shift and you wouldn't get, you wouldn't get to even go to the. Uh... Yes, Sam. I take a bathroom break. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> What's your answer? You need to stay. Because <laughs> we're only halfway through the show. You got to leave now. That's illegal. Well, <laughs> it's like six or seven. This segment might feel like it's gone six or seven hours. <laughs> Ed, I'll pay that. Oh, this gorilla in South Carolina has gone viral on TikTok for doing what? Lizzie. Being a heartthrob? He is. <laughs> he's, he's a heartthrob. Hi, mate. Ah, uh, Marty. Did he do a giraffe? No. <laughs> no, no um, cross-species stuff. Uh, Ursula. No, he, he was skidding into his cage. He's sliding into the enclosure. Oh, my God. Ooh. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne made a spectacular return to the stage. At what event? Marty. His wake. He's no, no, no. <laughs> he is, he's, he's alive and kicking. Sam. It was the closing ceremony of the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, because I didn't know he came from Birmingham. The entertainment industry lost an iconic voice. <laughs> Who are we listening to there? Ed. I believe that's Marty trying his hand at Italian. <laughs> <laughs> 
Benoni. Benoni. Pingu. Yes, the voice of Pingu. Oh. Carlo Benoni died 85. He died of helium poisoning. So that's... <laughs> sad, 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 sad. Right. For the first time, Netflix has been overtaken in subscriber numbers by who? Michelin. My only fans, Tom. That's <laughs> you. That's, 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 that's right. Right. No, it's another yes, streaming platform. If you like hairy nipples. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Sam. It's Disney Plus. Yeah. Disney Plus. Thank you, Sam. Oh, I believe we have a video quiz master standing by. G'day, Tom. G'day, everyone. I'm Alexander the Ginger Assassin Roberts. And which national competition did I crush? This week. Oh, what competition did Alexander crush? Uh, Ed? Was it meth appreciation? It's not. <laughs> Ursula. Is it sinking some piss? It's not <laughs> alcohol drug related. Lizzie. He won an air guitar competition. Oh, uh, did you like give that? It, give us some, Lizzie. Give us some of your finest. <laughs> That's it. Let's see if you're right. <laughs> air guitar. <laughs> So good. That is it. Wow. <laughs> All right, time to meet our special guest quizmaster. She's one of Bollywood's leading actresses, having starred in over 65 films. Where do we begin? Please welcome Tamanna Bhatia. <laughs> Here for the Indian Film Festival. Please welcome Tamana Bhatia. Hey Tamana, thanks so much for joining us. Now you're a huge star in India, over 17 million Instagram followers. Jeez. And a shot like this suggests that you couldn't just go wandering around Mumbai without getting uh, getting picked up by fans. You know the, the surprising part is um I think uh, I look really different without makeup. So oh. when, once I take it off, it kind of works out and it's quite easy to go undercover. All right, now, Tamina has kindly <laughs> agreed to ask us some questions. Okay. So uh, if you have the cards, let's dive into it. So the first question is, Bollywood has just remade a classic movie. My mother said that What's the film? <laughs> Ed. I think it's called, is it Snakes on a Train? <laughs> it is. It's not Snakes on a Train, but there's a clue in the dialogue. Ursula? No, it's Throw Mama from the Train. It is not. <laughs> Don't be distracted by the train. Sam, the movie is? Schindler's List. Is. <laughs> Help me out, Ursula. No, is it um, Forrest Gump? Yeah, it is Forrest Gump. <laughs> mm. <laughs> We're as surprised as you are, Tamina. <laughs> <laughs> next, uh, next question, please. <laughs> There's a huge rule change in the Miss Universe pageant. For the first time, who's now eligible to compete? Oh, Lizzie. Females with university degrees. <laughs> <laughs> You're going a little bit extreme. Sam. Nuns. Is... <laughs> Marty, who is the group that can now compete in Miss Universe? Masked Singers. Is... <laughs> oh, no, Help. No. Uh, uh, wives and mothers. That is correct. Tommy, you were telling me earlier the week that you thought it was political. Political <laughs> just gone mad, didn't you? Please. Have a next question. What show premiering this week is reported to have cost $30 million an episode? Weird. Is it The Lord of the Rings? Mm, you're, in the, you're in the ballpark, but it's not... Anyone know the, the big... It's a sort of a prequel of a... I oh. think HBO. Ed. The, uh, the Game of Thrones prequel where the brothers and sisters fall in love. <laughs> oh, we've had Sam jump in. Pretty sure I saw It's House of Dragon. Is that Game of Thrones? No. Yeah. Who, are you, who do you want to yeah. give the points oh, to, yeah. Tamina? Mmm. Okay. It's close, though. Who's your favourite? Uh... <laughs> Sam, I'm trying to not make you my favourite. Oh. I'm trying very hard. I'm trying okay, to control enough. my feelings here for you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to stop there because, Tamina, I think, looking at the scoreboard, I think we might give the points to Sam on that oh. last one. House of the Dragon, it's the Game of Thrones prequel. <laughs> Rupert Murdoch is now officially what? Is he? Single and ready to mingle. <laughs> She's got it. He's divorced. The divorce came through. Supermarkets in France have put purchase limits on what? Unusual item. Marty. Mustard. Yes. What did Lance Armstrong do in France this week? Michelin. A lot of drugs. No, no, no. But <laughs> I don't know, but the answer I'm chasing is Sam. Did he get in trouble for buying more than three jars of mustard? 
Yeah, it's in his personal life. He's uh, yeah. married? Yeah, he got married. Dozens of people were injured at Germany's Legoland when what happened? Buddy. Lego in the carpet? That's who it's. <laughs> that hurts. A little more dramatic, uh, Sam. Brickman went on a tear. No, <laughs> not Brickman. It was, in fact, two roller coasters collided. Actor Ashton Kutcher has said he's lucky to be what? Marty. Working? No. <laughs> I'll go with Ursula. To be alive, two cougars nearly rubbed them in no, half. I'll take the first part, Ursula, alive after suffering an autoimmune disease. Italy is taking Slovenia to court over what? Sam. I think they're fighting over balsamic vinegar. Yes, who can actually use the authentic uh, geographical name. Tough day for Irish pop singer Brian McFadden. What happened? Marty. The music hit back. Yes. <laughs> Ursula. He commented on Will Smith's wife. And that's... <laughs> no, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, he got a bee sting. Bee sting and had that big reaction. <laughs> good news for New Zealand's flightless Kapako bird. What's the good news? Uh, let me see. It can fly? No, that's... <laughs> that'd be really good. Ursula. No, um, it's been banging away and it's working. The, the numbers are up. After a bumper yeah. breeding season. Acclaimed author Salman Rushdie. Oh, we're out of time. Thanks to everyone for being part of the show this evening. We'll leave you with a reminder from this week of the need to pay attention when using a familiar phrase. If you're associated with Donald Trump in any way, you better cross all your I's and dot all your T's. Or the other way around. See you next week, Australia.